Are your kitchen and bathroom way overdue for a remodel? Well, I got the guy for you. Call John Sellers at First Response Contracting, 484-256-7136. Both residential and commercial services, and he's licensed and insured. Call him at 484-256-7136, First Response Contracting. Hello, this is Brad Wiseman. You're listening to Real Estate and You. We are back in the studio here at Keller Williams, and we are doing a behind the scenes, not behind the scenes, behind closed doors. Behind closed doors. Come on, what the heck was I thinking? You got to help me out, Brandon. I mean, I'm come sorry, on. I'm sorry. When I screw up like that, geez. Uh, yeah, so here we are. We have behind closed doors. We haven't done this for a while. It's, it has been a while. Yeah, it's been it's been a while. And um, and I think you know what it is is. You know, we just don't have enough material. I, it's really hard. To Our get customers to are just up. perfect. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> nothing nothing <laughs> absolutely. happens behind closed doors that we can even talk about. That's why we're the best. The public is normal. Yeah, ex- I guess. Every, yeah, that's yeah, what it is. Normal. Everyone's totally average. Oh, totally. Totally, totally. totally, totally. totally. Yeah. So we brought Susan in here, Susan McFadden. She's uh, my partner and also friend and realtor for 15, 16, 17, 17 just years. Just on my 17th anniversary. And of course, Brandon's here. Brandon's my co-host. So you have some stories. And one was recently, I think. Yesterday. Yesterday. Tell us what happened. Now, this in this market. Let me preface it with this: in this market, we have some very aggressive buyers. We have buyers that are that are they're they're sick of hearing no. They're sick of not getting the house that they want, and they're starting to take matters in their own hands. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I have so, a great example. So tell me, tell me what that what that looks like. So listed a house yesterday. Yeah. Showing started today. Um, at the open house at five o'clock and my buyer writes me, I'm sorry, my seller writes me last night and says, Susan, you're never going to believe this. This people just came, knocked on the door, said they had cash. We needed to let them in because they can't come tomorrow to the open house. And I said, well, you didn't let them in, right? She goes, well, we did. Her husband's a police officer, so she felt safe. And so he shot him. It's, it's just, <laughs> that's where the story goes. It's, it's just a very strange story. You know, it, that ended quick, huh? Wait, what was, else do you have cool. to talk about? <laughs> Squirrels or I don't know what else. No. So, so she let them in. Then last night, the agent starts writing me. They're sending an offer. And I was like, okay, please let Monday be the date for the acceptance date. She but was like, don't you want to say wait in line? Yeah, she goes, Get well, in line. well, we need we need an answer by noon tomorrow. Now, I got this offer at 10 o'clock last night. Okay. That's crazy. She wants yeah. an answer by noon today. We haven't had the open house yet. Right. When I'm talking to the sellers early on, we say, like, you don't want to take the first offer you get because you in don't know market. what else there could be in this market. Yeah. I represent the seller, mm-hmm. so we want to do what's best for the seller, not for the buyer. Right. So we had a conversation today that my seller's a nurse. She was in trauma class today. She's like getting stressed, trying to figure this out in class. I'm like, okay, if they really want the house, they'll wait. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Exactly. So normally we do an open house Thursday, another one Sunday. So we said, okay, let's make everything do Friday. Yeah. We have other agents who are which is which is nego- in, you negotiated. Offer. Right, we did. I mean, you you were going to go to me back and said, "What can we do?" I said, "Listen, we're feeling a little pressure." They yeah. went into the house when no one I mean, I have clients who want to <laughs> feeling a house, little pressure. Like, you bashed down the door. Yeah. yeah. We had to call the cop. You need to yeah. that lived right there. Now. Yeah. You, know? you need to keep The nurse got involved. Right now. Yeah, the nurse. The nurse got involved. The Everybody's involved. Realtor. A lot of yeah. trauma. A lot of trauma. <laughs> a lot of trauma. Yeah, that's why the nurse is involved. It's also like, okay, it's 10 o'clock at night. Now I'm supposed to present an offer at 10 o'clock at night. Like, you know, we work a lot, but there should yeah. be a couple hours we're allowed to sleep. Yeah, I, I like agree it gets, with that. It gets to the point where it's like, okay. Yeah, and you know what's the thing, too? And I forgot to say this this morning because you called me and we're, you were talking about it. And we were kind of talking about this whole story. And, you know, the thing we have to remember, too, it's still a seller's market. Correct. That's what I said. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was a buyer's market. So my sellers yeah. made the choice to wait. They have someone else who was like on the phone, we'll come in with a great offer, sight unseen. I'm like, no, I want your people to see the house. Yeah. Right. We're not. This isn't a fire yeah. sale. No. This is, you know, the sellers need to it's get the COVID. most money they can. Right. <laughs> we can see the house. Yeah, so, exactly. Was their agent with when they came no. unexpectedly? So No. And then That's... she wrote me an email and don't worry, it's not sight unseen. My buyers got in. I'm like, oh my God. That's unbelievable. And she was very high pressure. And I get it. It's a smart tactic for them to threaten to pull. Yeah. But absolutely. in the end, if they really want the house and they're going to pull after eight hours like that, they yeah. don't really want it. There's no house right next door to go at, in. You, right. you, you know what I mean? Well, though, the only thing with these the... people, they might, yeah, they just, might just move start they barging like, other doors. We're buying your yes. house. You're out. You are out and yeah. we are in. Yeah, yes. that's true. It's kind of just like the nerve of people just kind of. I, I would never, ever do that. No. no. 
No. And and I said to her, the thing is, is had you not let them in, we wouldn't be in the situation. She was trying to be nice yeah. right, because right. she's a great person. Yeah. But so he, this is a little lesson if you're a buyer out there, you know, maybe don't do this, yeah, you know, because no. I think what if you see already what has happened is it, it set up a, an uncomfortable situation. It, it is not the way we do things. Right. You know, I just don't think it's the way to go. Yeah. So if you're a buyer out there thinking about and doing have that, your I, agent would, I wouldn't call do and ask if they can get in. You know yeah, what I mean? Have the exactly. agent call and say, yeah. here's the situation. They're going to be away or whatever mm-hmm. it is. Yeah. You know, have the agent communicate. I think that's a lot better. Yeah, that's. Cr- that's and was it in is coming soon? No, it had just gone active yesterday. It had just gone active. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So they could have set up something so right away. They could away. have set yeah. something up. They could have called me and said, here's the circumstance. My clients were so taken aback. They have dogs, cats. They were like, and they're wonderful people. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, you know, we want them to get the house. They gave us a great offer. I'm like, sure. yes, but in this market, you have to get everything you yeah. can because they're paying through the nose on their house. Yep, absolutely. You know, because of how it is. Just the rudeness, though, like yeah. just barging on the door. I mean, yep. I hear about people like knocking on the door because they see the for sale sign. Like, right. oh, you know, but yeah. To bar to, to be able to get in at that yeah, moment. Yeah, that's and that's, then like work hash. So yeah. you know. That's weird. And also as a seller, don't let people in. No, I, yeah, I mean yeah. he was a cop. That makes sense. Yeah, that made it safe. You know, yeah, but they didn't have their contact information. You yeah, know what I mean? Like, don't let people in. You have no idea I mean, in this world today who who you're letting in the or house. Even when someone buys the house and then the buyers and sellers are like, Can we talk about furniture? I'm like, Yes, but there's a good chance you're gonna mention something you shouldn't. And then the deal can blow up yeah. all because you're negotiating on a coffee table. Yeah. Let us handle it. Yeah, exactly. Right. So, you know, I, I'm going to go through one of the ones I just had recently, and then we'll go back to your other story because that's yeah. uh, an interesting story. <laughs> um, yeah. So have you guys experienced, um, I mean, and this is not to make fun of anybody. This is, this is just an interesting situation when we get into hoarders. Yeah. Homes. You know, have you been in, in some of those in a hoarder house or anything like that? pretty messy yeah yeah and believe me we see everything yeah. you know what i mean so even if you think you're messy you're probably not hoarders houses have like pathways yeah right yeah, yeah. like you and know. i was just in one recently and, and it, it is amazing you know you almost feel bad well you do feel it's bad sad. for them. it is sad because it's it's kind of a sickness or whatever but you know what's amazing is that they just don't see what we see right you know in in their in their home i mean the this person was saying about you know and i started cleaning up the pantry and i'm thinking Holy mackerel! From the from the front door till I got to the pantry, there was a lot more that needed help besides the yeah. pantry. But they they look at that and go, "Oh, I'm going to organize the pantry." Well, that that's the well, least. It's like of your if you've worst. ever seen a 17 year old who's super skinny and they look in the mirror and think they're fat. Yeah, exactly. Yep. You know what I mean? So it's true. The same. It's, like it's a, mental, it's a yeah. Issue, it's a, yeah. Yeah. It's really actually yeah. sad. It is that, sad. It is sad. It's amazing. But I just I, I haven't been in one for a while, so it was yeah. kind of top of mind. I'm like, man, I get through this house and I'm. It was so amazing. What are your suggestions? Oh, I, Dumpster. Well, it's a, it's an interesting situation. She doesn't own it. It's an estate. She's living there, blah, 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 oh. all this other stuff. But the, the suggestion is is that, you know, in order to sell it, they're going to have to to get her out and then right. and then remove everything. But you're talking dumpsters full of, yeah. of things and stuff. And it was funny, too, just like wrappers and, and, and empty cans of soda and, you know, you know that kind of stuff. Sometimes you go home and you think like, oh, your kitchen's messy or oh. your dining room. And then you're in a house and you go home and I'm like, we're doing just fine. Like yep. Even on our worst day. Oh, like, absolutely. You know, absolutely. It's like so it's true. I, I personally hate clutter. So, yeah. I mean, I had one. Does this bother you if I lay this stuff around? Like, oh my God. Is that a problem? Yeah. Brad, come on now. I mean, Hugo, look at it. He got all weird right away. Here, here's a couple of pens for you, too. Oh, How about oh, that? Yeah. There you go. I'll, I'll call, there you I'll go. call it coordinate. Gonna... <laughs> what you can't see is I just threw pens and uh, notepads. notepads all over Brandon. Right. So he's he's a little uh, worked up right now. But uh, go into the other one. You have a strange uh, story here about people that were like circling your car with a. Yeah. So I was showing these clients. We'd written up a few offers, showing them a nice house um, near Stokesay Castle. On some acreage, so yeah. maybe maybe half acre, three quarters of an acre, and we're leaving the house, and my buyer goes, Susan, I think they're hitting rocks at your car, and I look out, and someone's on an ATV, and they're like burning like wheels, okay? Wow. So I'm like, well, that's weird. So I, I walk out to the back of my car, we're looking at it, seeing like what damage they've done, you know? And then we're going to leave and they're literally looping around our car trying to get us to like hit them. 
So now you're not moving. You're not driving like, forward. We're or, stopped, are you? Okay. and they're next to us. And okay. then when we start moving, they pull in front of us, go around kicking up duck dirt. Major harassment. Yeah, so yeah, first that's... I called my husband because I'm like, I think these people are trying to get me to hit them and I'm scared. Right, right. right. And normally I would be like, what is your problem? You know? Do you talk like that when you, <laughs> when you say stuff? <laughs> well, I would be like, yeah. Because like, that scared like, the shit out of me. Well, I don't know about you. I could I'm really, really do what I would do. Um, yeah, hello. we've heard when you're at the games at basketball games. Yeah, I was People are afraid of her. Really? Yes. Yeah, well. Yeah. It's all right. However, that's what I was She didn't deny do. it. You know that. No, I tried, yeah, no. Uh, I, yeah, I, it's almost like that's like a sports. I can't help yeah, it. It comes different. out. Yeah. It's just like, yeah. you know. So so when so, somebody's so, circling you, you're, yeah. you're. Well, no, but I was afraid that oh, yeah. he might like shoot me. You know what oh, I mean? So yeah. I was like, I don't want to say like, what the hell is your problem? No, because you don't know. Yeah, he crazy. seems so. So first I called my husband, then I called the police and then I called the listing agent. The listing agent was like, oh my gosh, you're the second call I've gotten today about this. And I told my clients for whatever reason, these people don't want you to buy this house. Were, like, they, were, were they young? They, um, no, probably mid forties. Why? Oh, wow. There was a woman. So it's not even guy. like a kid thing yeah, or like yeah. a punk. This was the guy on the ATV. And then there was a woman in the minivan following us and kept stopping. Like they were definitely intimidating us. Well, yeah. And, and, that's, that's and crazy. I thought they might be crazy enough to do something stupid. Well, so I was like, like they are, let's yeah. get So how did, how did this end? So I call the cops. He's like, okay, we're heading over there. And it was an address that there's like two addresses nearby oh, with the same street. So I'm calling the cops. I'm like, I can't wait to get the heck out of here. Right. So I'm driving. All of a sudden, my GPS was taking me back to the property. I'm like, get home. Abort, abort. Because you know? <laughs> I was like, no. I'm gonna it keeps be there taking the you cops. back. Like because Waze was like recircling. Groundhog Day. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I was like, get me out of here. And good news, I just got those clients under contract last night oh, on a much better house. And nobody was trying to hurt my car. With the free ATV? Did you did yeah, you kick no, in the, yeah, the we, free we ATV? We were like, that was crazy. Afterwards, that is too, crazy. The one thing you don't realize, the cops were asking me all these questions. Yeah. Doing an amazing job. And I'm like, you know, was he wearing a helmet? I'm like, I don't think so. You know, you don't remember. Wow. In, in a scary situation, you, you don't. don't remember, like, what kind of car was the woman driving? And I'm like, right. I think it was a blue minivan. So then I asked my client. Mm-hmm. And she was like, I think it was, uh, she named the type of car. It was a red Civic. <laughs> yeah. She's like way off. It was a convertible. No, but it is, like, you don't think of <laughs> Don't in go those into detective work. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> don't quit your day job. <laughs> She's like, it That's was a blue sure. van. It was a red Civic. But it's true. After emergencies, they yeah. can ask all the people yeah. that are somewhere. And everybody yeah, trauma- has like different trauma. things, mm-hmm. you know? Sometimes you don't, you kind of block yeah. it out. Yeah. yeah. So that was kind of crazy. Did you ever get into a house with bugs? Oh yeah. <gasps> I try not to go in. Yeah. Oh yeah. Staying oh yeah. You have oh, cockroaches. Was, when I was an investor and I was looking at a house to flip, all I did was put the key into the uh, keyhole yeah. and bugs started car crawling out of just that. Cockroaches or? I don't know, man. <laughs> wow. Oh, anyway, but like, as soon as I like tapped on the door, you saw them like falling from the. Oh my gosh. Like it was. Unreal. That's bad. bad. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, my big one was fleas. If, if you ever oh, got in a house of fleas, oh my God. you'll know it right and away. Did you like, oh, I would got, strip before I walked in my house. Yeah. I'd no, be like, not what? in front of the customer. I didn't do that. No, it's, <laughs> they, frown, they frown upon that in our business. What are you doing? <laughs> Can't you see the fleas? <laughs> you just make it up. They catch and they're no, we don't see anything. There's like nothing. <laughs> I had one that the, the people were hoarders. Okay. I went to sell the house. It was a foreclosure. They had 17 cats, no oh. no litter boxes, okay? Oh, oh, come on. No. And it was like a, th- at this point, this was a couple Ew. years ago, so it was a 300 and something house, so it's probably like a $500,000 house now, okay? So there is blood and urine stains everywhere, to the point the HVA system was ruined, HVAC system was yeah. ruined from the ammonia and the cat pee. Oh my so, God. So one time wow. I literally dropped my phone in the house on the carpet and I was like... <gasps> I have, to, I have to pick a pick up. What do no. I do? Do I get a new phone? I was just going to say, it looks like you need a new phone. So like my husband and kids were, they're so deathly allergic to cats. And I'm like, you have to come in and see this. It's so bad. Oh, and they gross. literally made it in the front door and they were, and my well, cat pee it. is like the worst smell. It was when I tell you it was everywhere. I mean, in yeah. every pipe, in every single surface had to be, that house is like brand new. She flipped it. Everybody did they it the get the smell out? House. Oh yeah. They but, did. But I mean, we had to everything. Came yeah, out. it's down to the, the down to literally the, the yeah. pipes that you know for HVAC. The metal That's, pipes had holes in them from, from the, the urine. Yeah, from yeah. the urine. Mm-hmm. Well, they tell I you about that. If, do- if you don't ever like, if you have a dog that's in your neighborhood or your dog is urinating on your outside AC unit, the compressor or thing, yeah. it will literally eat right through the urine. Will actually the ammonia no will eat right through your your uh, the metal no, out there. No, yeah, that's, that's why yeah. Brad knows a lot about HVAC though and urine too. It's uh, <laughs> I know a lot about urine for some reason and cats. Cat yeah. urine, dog urine, okay, one so of my specialties. I'm allergic to cats, and they know that. So when I go into a listing with cats, yeah. 
they like love me. They're oh, like, yeah. around my neck. They're like on my water bottle. <laughs> Your like eyes are swelling oh, yeah. up. One time recently, the people are like, "Are you okay?" I'm like, uh, uh, "My throat's just closing. I'm fine." Don't worry about it. Yeah. yeah. You um, take like a. Do you take like something before I, you go in? If I know that they have, yeah. Yeah. But then I should take it. My husband's like, just take a Zyrtec every day. Yeah, absolutely. You should. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, I'm, I'm highly allergic to cats too, so I'm like in and out of yeah. those really quick. Yeah. But. Any other stories? Bugs, cats, dogs, urine. I have, one, I have uh, hoarders. One. What else did we talk about? I have one. Hugo, one. what did we? Yeah. What else? Hugo, do you have anything you've ever experienced? You know? No, no. You're all good. Right now. All right, all right. I have one about a hoarder. This one, it was a past client. His grandfather passed, and his grandfather was a major hoarder. Yeah. Um. So we, he cleaned everything out from uh, junk luggers. Oh, good. So, yeah, Jacob. There we go. Yeah, little plug. The yep. best. Yep. I used him after I listened to that. Excellent. Podcast. Oh, good. That's um, great. So. Uh, squatters in the area started oh, coming yeah. in and living there. They started taking <gasps> the Squatters coppers. is a good one. Yeah. yeah. So yes. someone had seen someone going in that shouldn't have. They called the cops. 16 cops, shotguns pulled all <gasps> down like on this street oh my from one guy. It was insane. Squatters, oh my God. Is, that happens a That's, lot. It, that can be, yeah. That, and, well, and the thing is they have, they have uh, laws for that. Once, oh, they're, they once they're, more, they're in. They have more laws than Once they're in, it's tough to get them out. We could do a squatter show sometime. We should probably what do, you guys do think? a squatter show. Yeah, yeah that I sounds have, good. Squatter show. We'll just Water sit show. here and do a bunch of squats, right? It's squats, perfect. squatter. And Brad's totally going to do that. Yeah, I'm going to do lots of squats. Me too. A lot of urine talk. I don't, oh, yeah. urine talk with the squats, absolutely. Oh All right, that's it. There you have it. Behind closed doors, we had nothing to talk about and found a lot to talk about, which is usually what happens. Uh, we will see you next Thursday at 1 p.m. All right, thank you. Are your kitchen and bathroom remodels a little overdue? Well, now's your chance to call First Response Contracting. John Sellers will take care of you. 484-256-7136. They do residential and commercial, and they're licensed and insured. Give them a call at 484-256-7136.